Hello, guys, and welcome to Leo Season. Yay! Hello, and welcome to the channel. I am Marv, and welcome to Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. We have we we have soldiered through another month, completed another season. Teary, teary. Cancer season is over. Now here come the lions and the lionesses. Go ahead and take your moment, guys, because it's all about y'all. Right? All right, Leo, let's get down to business. This is going to be your intro video that is going to be at the top of, well, not just Leo, Leo season. Welcome to Leo season. This is going to be the intro. Um, it just helps uh, move things faster and let you guys all hear the exact same information so I don't have to repeat myself 12 times and blah, blah, blah. Um, by the time your video launches, we will go right into the following, your self-care messages. The self-care messages is an integral part of this particular reading. I like to let you, the zodiac sign, know how you're feeling and what you need to do for your own self-care in that particular season. I then go into a comparison from cancer season, in this case, the previous season, into this season to see how they compare. In that comparison, sometimes we find out some interesting situ uh, some interesting information. One, are you getting the same energy? If you are, you're kind of standing in your own way. We highlight that, and I read you the message and let you know how I feel. B, are you crossing with any other zodiac signs? Was there a zodiac sign last in the in the last season that got the same message that you're getting this month? Um, and and who are they? I let you know who they are. Um, how significant are they to your message for this particular month? How significant are they to your self care, guys? Um, also, um, it's interesting to see where you are overall. That's option C. Sometimes um, it's interesting just to kind of see what energy is moving in and out. We get so caught up in everybody else and their impression of us and this, that, and the third, this self-care messages are designed for me to bring awareness to what we need to deal with individually. In addition to all of these other things that we have going on. And sometimes when you just cross with that, that other individual, that other entity, um, that other Zodiac sign, a lot of the times guys, that means that three Three things. Sometimes you're dealing with that zodiac sign individually, and it, it is a person. It is an actual individual. Sometimes you have it in your chart. Um, I tell you guys, if you are, if I say that you're crossing with a zodiac, and, and that person does, and that energy does not represent a person, do you have it in your chart? Is it in your big three? Where is it, and why is it wreaking havoc for you? Um, go and take a look at your specific chart to see why, you know, that why that energy is there. Do you have that as a uh, prominent energy in your birth chart? Is it in your big three? Is it in your outer planets? Where is it? And then finally, is this a message that spirit is saying that, you know, maybe you need to embody some of the characteristics of that zodiac sign? Maybe that's what you need to do. Either way, we break that down. Um, in addition to the self-care messages for this, their feelings for you, we break down five specific categories and I'll let you know, you know, how they view in you, what they, you know, those type of things. Um, and after we get into their current feelings, their current view, their current actions, um, your feelings, which is always fun. And then the overall energy, um, I give you five additional clarifiers. Those clarifiers could basically... Um, bring to light any additional information on the current energy that's there, just giving us a more broader and richer picture of their feelings for you. So again, in closing, I hope that this Leo season finds you well and in good spirits. I am go going to also sneak in your five card guidance. Um, I typically try to debut that around the first of the, of the, like when the actual month changes from, so we're still in July. So you should expect to see that five card guidance in August. Um, and the reason why that's important is because I want those to be like for the month of August as well as the season. Um, but I'm going to still associate it with the season um, and just kind of let you know where you are. If they come early, that's fine. But that is going to be what we're going to do. I did bring that five card guidance as a bonus in cancer season because I was feeling myself. But here we are. And I think that it is important because I like to be able just to give you five cards and just riff on those cards. You know, it's interesting to see what energies um, 
support each one of those cards, what enforces those cards, what it, what energy would enforce it that didn't show up. It's beautiful to be able to give you those energies. I love to challenge myself like that. And that's that. So we are going to um, close this message out. Thank you so much for watching this intro. Remember, the summer specials are um, still in effect. They do not expire until August the 31st, guys. We have brought back $25 days, which is going to be one day typically at the end of the month. I will broadcast that um, and let you know. Um, when that's available right now, we have one that is scheduled for July 31st, 20 minute readings for $25 with your girl. Um, of course, my tarot services and other things that I offer are all available at www.marvelouswithdam.com, um, as well as a book my tarot services with the crystal ball down in the pinned comments, as well as in the description box. Um, on the 27th, of this month, I will be linking the link. Um, well, I will be sharing the link for the August $25 days. I try to do it about seven days prior to the end of the month, the same way we used to do the 11 11 special for my day oneers. Um, and we're doing the same thing. I do not know how many slots we got, we have guys for this July, um, $25 days special. Um, so if you're still interested in that, by the time you see this video, go and check it out. Um, and I'm giving away all sorts of goodies coming up. Um, so just go ahead and continue to, uh, support your girl, like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. And I will see you in your video. Just remember when your video launches, we will go right into your messages. So you don't have to hear this again. Bye guys. Hello, Scorpio, and this is your card, your self-care um, wisdom card for Leo season, and that is mind. You are the master of your inner world, and you decide how the outer wor or world affects you, Scorpio. Cultivate a calm inner state. Couldn't have been said better. So it's obviously that there is some things that are stirring up inside of you right now, Scorpio. Um, let me just do this really quick. And you are, um, and it, it's panicking. It's a state of panic. Of course, you won't let anybody know that, but it's obvious that there's a lot of things running through your mind and um, your inner world um, you can control. However, it's harder to control the outer world. So you have to decide again um, how you allow that outer world to affect you. So there's a lot on your mind, okay, um, right now. You also got the card of surrender. Stop trying to control life. It gets in the way of divine intervention, okay? So obviously this is a little bit harder for you as a fixed water sign. There are things that you completely want to control and you're being guided to let it go. You didn't need to see that. <laughs> and finally, speak up. This has been a very popular card tonight. If you avoid conflict to keep peace, you start a war inside yourself. So um, the mind card and the speak up card seems to be syncing perfectly. And then your bonus card is possibility. Focus your attention on what could go right. When you learn to imagine the best case scenario, you'll get to enjoy an experience twice. So if you focus your intent and your intention on what could go right, you and learn to imagine the best case scenario, you'll get to enjoy an experience twice. This is your personal message that I will not track. Okay, let's go ahead and um, give these a couple of shuffles really quickly and we're going to get into before we get into their feelings for you, Scorpio, we're going to figure out who you are um, crossing with from cancer season into Leo season for your self-care message. Who may be um, standing in the way? You guys got to talk to someone. There's a conversation that needs to be had. Um, let's find out who could be standing in the way, um, affecting or hindering these energies for you, okay? Okay or your self-care, all right? So let's do this. So let's go ahead and pull that up. 
All right, for the card of mind, mind, it looks like this is all your own. So what you focus your energy on and what's going on in your mind, no one is crossing with when there is no other people in your energy. That is your truest message. And that could be where you are um, standing in your own way. OK, what goes on through your mind? Also, the card of surrender. Who are you crossing with from last season? last season and it doesn't look like wow you seem to be the first zodiac sign that has is not crossing with anyone i think there was one more and it was a fixed sign i believe wow so you're not crossing with anyone for surrender i don't see it you definitely are crossing with somebody for speak up <laughs> definitely um so for speak up you are crossing with a virgo sun moon rising or venus um, how is a Virgo impacting you from speaking up um, for your self-care? Um, and I thought that there was another one. Um, bonus though, bonus fact, the possibility card, which I don't track only because I know it's right here. Um, you're crossing with the Pisces for that Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I don't know whether or how a Pisces is standing in the way again of the possibilities but that's what we have so you are all of these messages are your own your mind um and to what you need to surrender to okay let's go ahead and get into your messages all right and that's how they feel about you wow they feel about you right here their current feelings is a two of pentacles all right what is their current view of scorpio all right thank you that's their view of you, Scorpio. That is a queen of cups. And in this deck, it is also the empress. What are the actions that they're going to take? The actions is the queen of swords. Okay. We will unpack that. And how does Scorpio feel about this situation? Aha. Well, this is how you feel. A ten of swords about the situation and the overall energy is the four of cups okay let's unpack this is a two of pentacles you feel in an energy of a two of pentacles that is very very strong so the question is is that let me get all of this stuff down guys sorry jesus christ the question is is that i mean a two of two of pentacles is not a shabby card I mean, what I like about the Two of Pentacles that a lot of people um, don't pull out of its meaning is its flexibility. Okay, Two Pentacles, um, and we're trying to be flexible. We're trying, we're juggling definitely, but we're try, we're juggling because we're trying to be flexible. Um, maybe um, this is um, um, also a card for um, having fun and doing something that you enjoy. Um, but juggling and keeping everything into balance, it definitely doesn't necessarily mean that you're juggling more than one person romantically. But, you know, their current feelings right now is that they're trying to keep themselves in balance. OK, there are some things um, they're hand handling their challenges. They're trying to be flexible. Um, they're refusing to let things throw them. So as it pertains to your romantic situation, they're just, um, you know, um, taking on the challenge, you know, not quite, not, there is nothing quite like feeling the feeling of being graceful and effective at the same time. They're trying to uh, juggle everything and keep everything in balance. And that includes their feelings for you um, and, and make it look gracefully. Okay. Make it, make it look like they, they got it. Um, I'm going to tell you though, that this is also the blended meaning of the high priestess. Um, at the same time, you know, high priestess is non-active, you know, kind of withdrawing it from the involved, from being involved. They're trying to use their, in their intuition and access the unconscious. And they're trying to understand possibilities, but maybe being more open to what could have been um, looking beyond the obvious. OK, so it's, it's clear that you guys are not necessarily in much contact right now. Um and that's what they're doing with that with that high priestess um, wanting to surrender um, also, which is actually what you're struggling with right now. That's in your self-care messages. OK, their view of you right now is a queen of cups. They're looking at you 
um, very nurturing, very caring. Um, this is also the Empress. So the Queen of Cups, they're looking at you as being an individual uh, Scorpio who is loving and tenderhearted, you know, intuitive, psychic, spiritual, all of the things that that Water Queen possesses. But this is also the Empress. So they look at you at, in the light of wanting to start over. They love you guys, the sensuality, sexuality. Um, this is the birth of new beginnings. The Empress is also pregnant. Um, so they want to, um, they want the sexual fulfillment for some of them. They love that sexual connection. Um, they want hope, healing, and optimism. That all reinforces this. They want um, nine of cups. They want to enjoy the senses. My Taurus card, the seven of pentacles. They want everything with this. Okay, ten pentacles. They they want this. And to let you know, these two right here, the high the the um the high priestess and the empress are actually the two half of the female mar archetypes and the female arcana. So on this end, what they their, their current feelings for you and their current view of you are, is represented by both of these uh, major arcanas, which are both female energy. So as with the, the empress will necessarily uh, reigns over bounty and nature and rhythms and all of that, um, you know, the high priestess, on the other hand, um, is a little bit different because high priestess, high priestess energy, on the other hand, will represent the unconscious. Um, this is the fe the feminine principle that balances out the masculine energy of the of, of the magician. So again, um, this is an individual who um, is mysterious and unknown and rep and, and is often represented um, of you know of of, of using your intuition and she can be quite mysterious. So um, this is a very, very, I mean, two major arcanas uh, representing their feelings for you, um, Scorpio. Okay, let's keep moving. What actions will they take toward this is a 10 of swords. I'm sorry, a queen of swords. Now, the queen, uh, this is this is the action right now. The queen doesn't take any BS. So there is obviously some things that they want to come to light. There are some things that they want to talk about. They want to be honest. Um, even if the truth is not pleasant, this queen is going to do it. So they know that you guys need to have this uncomfortable conversation um, and they're open to it. OK, as much as they love you, they are not they live by their commitment. Um, they want to come to you very truthful. Lies, tricks and games are not what they want to do. So they feel like, you know, if you guys are going to walk away from each other or not stay together, then they at least want to have that uncomfortable conversation and cut through the bullshit and get down to the nitty and the gritty. OK, so the actions that they're going to take is probably going to be seeking the truth because they're trying to tap into their intuition. Um, and really look at this situation differently, okay? Now we move on to where you are, Scorpio, and you are at your wit's end with this situation right now. You are in the 10, you, you have 10 swords. And 10 swords just represent that you're done. You're bottoming out. You are completely done. Um, and, you know, you, you feel like this is a card, an energy of terrible misfortune. It's like, it represents trouble. It, it just represents rock, rock bottom. Um, but again, your mind card is here. So when you look at both of these together, then you are the master of your inner world and you decide, decide how the outer world affects you. You're being guided to cultivate a calm inner state. So what you allow your mind to think about is where you're going. And you also have the card of surrender. OK, so you're being guided to stop trying to control life. It will get in the way of divine intervention. You're being guided to stop that. So one of the things that's interesting about this particular card is blended for the judgment. So right now, um, hangman, obviously enforces this and so does eight swords neither one of the reinforcing energies is here however i do feel like it is a mental confusion hangman hey, is when you have to sit still and non-action is the best action but a eight of a uh, eight of swords is a mental confusion that is self-imposed okay so this is also the blended meaning um for judgment okay so when we talk about judgment we're talking about your rebirth. This is going to take a turn. 
you're going to rebirth and want to move into a new start. There's going to be a, a decision point that you come up with, but you have got to get to that position. You've got to get to that. Okay. So judgment is here. And the question is, is will you hear the call? So right now you're stressed the hell out, Scorpio. You have a lot going on and a lot on your mind anyway, as my surrender and speak up and possibility is here in your energy. Let's talk about where both of you guys are in the overall energy that ex that that is representative of but what both of you guys is going through, and that is the Four of Cups. So right now you guys are not seeing eye to eye. You're taking out some time really to kind of go within. Um, the cup is not being passed around. It's time for both of you guys to uh, be a little bit selfish. Um, but when this individual, their actions, remember, is the queen of swords. So they still feel like they're, they, they want to be truthful about this and they don't want to play games with you, Scorpio. So while you're going through your judgment right now, they're trying to clear their mind and their mental also. Okay. Um, so this obviously is self-absorbed, um, uh, tending to refer everything back to yourself, your own interests and your own desires. Um, in, in, and what happens is, is that the, the picture shows that there's a cup that's being offered to you, but you miss it because you've turned in within, okay? You're wrapped up in your own world right now. Both of you guys um, have wrapped up in your own world. I don't see in a clear breakup card, but right now, both of you guys are going through and you're wrapped up in your own world. Let's go ahead um, and get five cards to clarify the situation. And we will get you out of here. So right now you can just be feeling blah, blah, blah. Feeling like you don't really care about too much of anything. Especially with all of this astrology that's going on. Um, so that makes complete sense. I will find my way back to you one day. I do not feel like this is a breakup, breakup. But again, breakup energy isn't here. Um, that did come out. We're going to take that. We got four more to go. Your majors is Empress and Judgment and High Priestess. Okay. Show me spirit. There is so much I want to tell you. Absolutely. All right. So it's obvious that you guys need to talk. Aha. Uh -huh. Finances are a problem for one of both of you or one of you. Um, there are some things that need to be discussed from a financial perspective. Okay. Finances are a problem right now. We do have, that was in reverse. Both of these came out in reverse. So I check on you from afar came out in reverse. Maybe that was a thing and it changed. Um, I'm not sure. And then this was just the fling came out in reverse. Some of you guys could very well be trying to, you know, leverage this from being just the fling to being more. That's completely a possibility. Okay. Um, right now you guys have turned your back on one another to go within and it looks like it's mutual. Um, but, um, once this turns, once this turns, there is going to be a release. Um, and I think Scorpio, you're more so being guided to speak up more than they are. They, they're ready for the truth. You're not necessarily ready to share right now. You're, you're perfectly cool but just kind of being on your own stuff. Um, so there's so much I want to tell you. And then you do have the card of speak up. I just want to show you this. So, you know, the self-care cards are for you and you only Scorpio. It shows me what you're going through based upon what they feel for you and, and how much you guys are mirroring. And you guys are completely mirroring one another. And you guys are basically looking in either directions. Again, your majors as high priestess, empress, judgment, okay? Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, Scorp.